guys going on? Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind up the uh, post Valentine's Day hangover uh, one, if you will. Uh, ain't that a bitch story to lead off uh, your weekly rock wind up about Cradle of Filth. They were scheduled to be playing up in Lawrence next month, actually on St. Patty's Day on the uh, 17th. Uh, having to cancel all of their dates now because they're having some sort of immigration issues uh, trying to get over here to the States. And so they are uh, uh, very sad they're not going to be able to make it. Uh, trying to get this whole thing resolved, so maybe they'll be able to do something later on in the year. But if you're planning on going to the show, uh, your, your ticket will be refunded. Well, if you're a fan of the Dead Kennedys growing up like I was, you're going to be on the lookout April 2nd for Jello Bifra and the Guantanamo School of Medicine with their highly anticipated debut album, White People and the Damage Done. If you recall, Jello Bifra was the front man for many, many moons for the Dead Kennedys. Uh, this, this album now is uh, his own little side project, but he hasn't lost a step from what I'm reading. I told you guys in a previous Weekly Rock wind-up about Phil Anselmo, of course, from uh, Pantera, also a part of Down and Crowbar, uh, putting on a brand new uh, horror film festival, House Core Horror Film Fest, taking place in Austin on October 25th to the 27th. And Crow, uh, Down and Crowbar both slated to be performing. It's going to take everything from, like, heavy metal music and horror movies, slasher movies, true crime stories, and uh, everything in between. So if you are a filmmaker, whether you got a small budget or, lar or a large budget, you have until March 20th to enter in uh, into the uh, festival. I'll put a link up on my YouTube page for this. But again, it's House Core Horror Film Fest in Austin, Texas, the 25th through the 27th of October. Pretty excited about this one, although it kind of makes me feel a little old. Vivid from Living Color is 25 years old, and with that is going to be a 25th anniversary tour from those guys. As of right now, no stops planned for Kansas City. It's pretty much primarily just in the East Coast. But uh, if that changes, believe me, I will let you know. And to close out your weekly rock wind up, metal and music, uh, heavy metal music and science again. Yeah! First there was a study that came out that if you listen to punk rock or reggae or rap or metal, you will be a degenerate. This one I have to read directly because it's so smart I can't even memorize it. Uh, according to Technology Review, a team of researchers at Cornell University in Ithaca that have found that speed distribution of moshers at heavy metal concerts where fans run together with physical abandon bouncing off one another with arms flailing and legs kicking closely matches that of molecules in a 2D gas at equilibrium. I'm Niven. Thank you very much for tuning in to your weekly rock wind up. Have a great weekend. All right. <clears throat>